Hey everybody, welcome to Shifty Perspective and another video on cryptocurrency. Sorry that I've not posted in a while. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit ropey and I've not written anything down. I'm just going to kind of do this off of the cuff. In the last video, I discussed PancakeSwap and I showed you how to set up staking on PancakeSwap. Hopefully, you guys have been staking for the past few months because the rewards have been incredible. Uh, the value of the token has gone up. It, it's just seeing more and more growth. So you could really be, uh, yeah, quids in. For now, I'm going to look quickly at some Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stablecoin lending rates. For anybody who isn't aware of this, you can now lend your cryptocurrency or store your cryptocurrency on these lending platforms, which will then pay you interest back daily, weekly, or monthly. And the rates are very variable. To start with, the most important thing to check is to do your due diligence. Make sure that you look up these sites. And if they seem to have crazy high interest, then it probably is too good to be true. You can start by looking at defirate.com, which shows the most trusting sites here. And it shows a fairly accurate reflection of, um, of the current rates. However, it's not that accurate, I find. Uh, often the rates are lower than they state here. So for example, BlockFi, I was on BlockFi and their rates are much lower and they're actually um, on September the 1st, they're gonna be dropping them down dramatically. Uh, dramatically. If you are staking uh, Bitcoin, if you have 0 0.1 Bitcoin, um, the rate is down to about 1%. Um, and if you have even more Bitcoin than that, then the rate drops even lower. There are some sites which are offering much higher rewards, but as always, check things out and probably the best idea is to spread your crypto across multiple platforms. I personally never put my all my eggs in one basket, so that's the same for keeping it on an exchange. Never keep your crypto on the exchange. Um, just like with an exchange, you do not have control over your crypto finally, so this is there, there's some risk involved. However, you can mitigate that by choosing the right platforms. Platforms such as Nexo offer insurance um, and they have hundreds of millions uh, of crypto. Well, your crypto is insured for a few hundred million. So it's pretty safe. I believe Ledin also offers that. Uh, let's go through those quickly because I don't want to keep you for too long. For now, we will start by looking at crypto.com, which is actually not on this list. Now, Crypto.com offers up to 14.5% on your earnings, as it says here, especially this is for uh, stable coins, and up to 8.5% on Bitcoin and 8.5% on Ethereum. Now, this is the maximum. What you need to be doing here is ideally having a Crypto.com credit card or their debit card, which you then stake CRO, which is their native token. If you are staking CRO, then you can get better rates on your savings. So let's start by looking at 400 CRO. So if you've got 400 CRO and you want to deposit 1,000 US dollars over a three month term, your interest rate will be 10%, which means you'll be earning $100 per year in USD. Plus you will also be earning CRO on the CRO that you're staking. I find that this is one of the best platforms to offer. You can get a number of different rates on diff all of these different cryptocurrencies here. So it could actually be a good idea to move some of your cryptocurrencies from an exchange such as Binance to here and put them into a lock term and make sure you're earning interest on it. We also have other ones such as Nexo, which offer a few different options. Now, you can earn interest in kind, which means that you will get paid in the native token that you are lending to them. So if you put USDC, you'll be getting 10% APY. Um, if you earn Bitcoin, it'll be 6% APY. If you decide to earn your interest in Nexo, which is their native token, then you earn an additional 2%. I believe that you can switch this between each individual token. So if you are not quite sure about a token's value or you want to maximize it, you think Nexo is going to be uh, you know, a, a good potential gains, then I would stake some of these in Nexo. Sorry, take some of the earnings in Nexo. 
Now, one of my favorite ones to use is Ledin. Now, Ledin are a Canadian company. Uh, I've got a little bit of a bias here because I had Mario Gibney on Shifty Perspective and he does work for them. Um, however, I have looked into them and I've been using them now for a few months and I think they offer probably some of the best, the most stable rates uh, with the most generous amounts for those who are holding um, yeah, larger amounts of, um, of currency. So if you look here, Ledin have between zero and two Bitcoin, they offer 6.1% APY. So that is great for somebody who has a whole Bitcoin. Um, you can be making absolutely crazy annual return. Um, for people who have over two Bitcoin, then it drops down to 2.25%. And for those with USDC, um, I'm unaware if there's any top amount on it. Um, however, yeah, as you can see, the rate is 9.5%. So bearing in mind that stable coins don't fluctuate in value, these are pegged to the dollar or to whatever currency they're pegged to. So you are essentially getting interest on this, which you wouldn't be getting in a normal bank account. You know, as we all know, most banks nowadays have negative interest. So if you were to put your savings, uh, say you had $10,000 in um, a normal bank account with Chase or HSBC, you'd be looking at, you know, half a percent or 1% negative interest each year. So it will cost you money to keep your money there. Whereas if you put that into a stable coin, such as USDC, then you can be earning actual interest on it. So this is really something I would recommend for anybody that is holding fiat uh, savings. Like, why would you just keep your money dormant in a in an account that costs you money when it could be working for you and making you a passive income? I think this is the most important thing is to basically those who are into crypto um, and aren't actively trading, who are hodling long term to get your crypto to work for you and make a, a passive income for you. And these are great ways to do it. Like I said before, it's really, really important to do your due diligence. I've just gone over the few most important ones to me. That's the crypto.com, that's Nexo, and that's Ledin. Um, there are other ones. Celsius are great. They change their rates every week, I believe, and they offer very competitive rates. Uh, you can also earn their interest in hand in kind, so you can earn it in their native token cell, which has some pretty good upside potential, I believe. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones. But these are my main picks. So that is Celsius, Ledin, Nexo, and Crypto.com. Of course, with Crypto.com, if you get the Crypto.com card, then it's definitely worth it. You also get a bunch of benefits with the Crypto.com card. You get free Netflix, free Spotify. And if you stake a higher amount, you get free lounge access. And if you stake a really, really high amount, you get um, private jet access. So for those who are, who are balling in crypto, yeah, maybe... Maybe it's worth it, but obviously for most people, it's probably not worth it. Um, and you can just stake the smaller amount. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash and I've been part of Shifty Perspective. I hope to make some more videos in the upcoming weeks. I'm also going to be adding a travel blog section to the channel. And I believe that my equipment has just come back repaired. So I should be able to be getting guests on the podcast again in the next few weeks, which is when I come back from traveling. Thank you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and ask any questions in the comments below.